Hey everybody, Jason here. Today I'm working on an iPhone 10 that was sent here for no power. Let's have a look at this thing. We are gonna hook our DC power supply up to this board, just like that, and then we're gonna turn the power supply on. Now you'll see we are instantly drawing three amps of current and it's pulling the supply down to two amps. So what that means is that this logic board is going to have a short on a main power line and I'm gonna walk through this with you and show you how it is that I find it. So the first thing I like to do is find VDD main. And here we go. Here's a nice place to get on VDD main. It just so happens we can get on VDD main right inside of J5700. You guys want to go inside of J5700 with me? Let's slip on down inside of J5700. Ooh, baby. We're going to set our meter to ohms mode. And we're going to put our black probe on ground. And we're going to put our red probe right here on VCC main and we get 0.7 ohms guys. So this board absolutely positively has a really firm short on VDD main and I'm going to show you how it is that I find it. So looking back at ZXW here you'll see that we don't have a whole lot of options for caps and things on VDD main. We have just a very few things under this shield here which is our um, this is mostly our, our touch area for touch power. This is our what is our racer area or acorn area. Acorn creates racer. Uh, so we do have a few caps here, but the bulk of our VCC main stuff is actually between the two board halves. We've got a lot on the bottom side of the top part of the board here that's got the CPU on it, tons of VCC main stuff, and we've got a ton of stuff here on the bottom half of the board. So although I think the iPhone 10 offers up a lot of hope for repairability, when it comes to stuff like this, it's a little bit of a pain in the neck, but we can easily isolate, hey, is the short on the top half of the board or is the short on the bottom half of the board? Let's find out, okay? Let's go ahead and put some alcohol across the stickies here. We're gonna take those off because the heat is just gonna crinkle them all up. And it should peel up really easy, there we go. Now our very, me <laughs> our very next move here is to get this thing into a heated fixture here because we're gonna take the two board halves apart. Now I'm gonna let this thing warm up for a while and I'm gonna come back to it whenever it's ready to flick the two board halves apart and then let's see if we can get this fixed for this guy. He'll be, he'll be thrilled. So now, without wasting any time, we can figure out, well, is our short on the bottom board or is it on the top board? We've got the bottom board broken away. We can set that aside. Now there is our top board by itself. Let's go ahead and let's check and see if we've got a short to ground on VCC main on just the top board. So we'll put our black probe on ground and we'll put our red probe on VCC main and we get 0.6 ohms. We do actually have a short to ground and it is on the top part of our PCB. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and clip ground on here, like that. Now let's see if we can find a spot to stick VCC main, shall we? If we switch back over to ZXW tool, and we look at this monstrosity of a mess here, I think it's gonna be, let's see, we're gonna wanna look here. Let's just pick us a spot to put VCC main in. Let's go out here at C, 4196 out here at the end. Let's do that. So we're gonna allow it to have four volts at three amps and I'm gonna take a probe here and I'm gonna put voltage in and I'm gonna feel with my fingers and see if I can tell where this is getting hot. Okay, I'm really not feeling anything so I'm gonna switch over here to my secret weapon, my thermal camera that has been solving tons and tons and tons of problems. I don't regret buying it. Paid for itself at least a half a dozen times in the first few weeks, links in the description. So here's what this looks like in front of a thermal camera. We've got our ground clamp clamped on and now we're gonna apply four volts at three amps to VDD main and we get, oh, what do we got there, guys? We got something lighting up over here, right? Watch right over here. Ooh. 
nice and pretty. All right, let's kick the thermal aside and let's look and see what that was flashing over here. Something was putting off a... Oh, there it is. Ooh, that's a heck of a place to have a short. Right next to the main PMIC, guys. That just looks... That just looks terrible. We're just going to be trying to get that out of the way without breaking anything. Let's desolder this capacitor. There we go. The capacitor has been desoldered. And we're going to leave that exactly like it is. Let's have a quick look at our balls. This one is what I would like to call a clean separation. Although a lot of the solder is discolored, it is still acceptable for use. I'm going to go ahead and use Apple's exact same alloy to put this back together. So we have properly removed our short from VDD main and let's go ahead and put this back together and see if it boots. Now, since this is a really, really, really straightforward repair, I'm not going to deal with cleaning this up and putting it into my eye socket. I'm really just going to put these halves back together and then we're going to see if this thing will boot up and run. So let's set our mechanic Hoda here. I love this thing. We are going to go ahead and add a little bit of fresh flux. We're going to go ahead now and take our top half. Stick it right back on here. Wow, I think I just nailed it. Yeah, sweet. We can heat that right back up and stick it on. So we have our board halves here fairly well lined up. You can see we've got our normal liftage going out here on our thin end that I think everybody struggles with. Now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to turn the heater on and we're gonna give this a while to settle down onto the PCB. I'm actually gonna go off for a minute and, and, and I'll come back to this after it's hot. Hmm. Well, I'm actually having some trouble with this one here warping a bit. Hey, hey I think I figured it out. I thought after I put this clamp on here that I would still have to hold it down up here. But I didn't. The clamp actually, it has it sandwiched completely flat all the way around. Not bad at all. Look at how flat that went down. Now my first couple of times were a miserable failure trying to just let it fall down back on its own. This one was severely bent. Uh, but since I didn't have big huge blobs of solder, I didn't create any bridges by clamping this on. And this actually went on really, really, really well. Moment of truth. Do you think we're going to get power, image, short? I know that we got rid of our VCC. Actually, no, I, I, I don't know that we got rid of our short. Okay, so one more quick check here for shorts on VDD main, and we get 10 mega big ones, folks. That means that we have no more shorts on VDD main, and that means that this phone should boot. We are plugging in our screen assembly. There we go. Let's connect our iPower Pro. So here we go. We've got the power supply on and we are going to push the button to prompt this thing to boot in one, two, three, boot. 70 milliamps, 100 milliamps, 180. I'll have to admit, the way this thing went back together made me a bit nervous. Let's give this thing some time to start up here. I'm not... Oh, that's, that is lovely. We boot up to a welcome screen. This came from another repair shop. They sent it here as no power, but the ultimate goal for them was for their customer, their customer to get the data. This phone don't have any data on it. This phone, is, this phone is blank, blank. Came here for data. Anyways, guys, so that was a really quick VDD main short repair, iPhone 10 style. There is going to be a lot more work involved in fixing this sort of thing on the iPhone 10 because in many cases, step one is separate the two PCB halves. Now, if you can separate those um, evenly enough without smushing or, or, or messing anything up, then you can actually put those halves right back together. So that's gonna be the end of this video. If you liked the video, please click thumbs up and I will see you next time. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for watching. All right, I think it's pretty well cooled off. Oh, for the love of God.
Ugh. Oh, jeez. Oh no, my customer sticker. I think I'm going to need some better clamps for this. No iCloud, seriously, no iCloud. Here we are in settings. I'm curious to see if we have baseband. Yay!